Hi, this is Amanda for Lavinia World, and today we're going to be making two Christmas cards, but obviously, as you can see here, they are very similar. I just couldn't decide on what background that I wanted to use, so I just made two. All right, so we are going to be using some Dilutions spray inks here, and <clears throat> I'm starting off with a circle mask. And I just cut this from some thin stencil material using a circle die. And then I'm going to put them in my spray box here. And sorry, it's dark, but I moved my lights. So now it's not going to be dark. And so we're going to start off with some vibrant turquoise. Again, I'm using dilution spray inks. And I'm just going to spray my watercolor paper here with some water before we get started. And then I'm going to spray the ink on. Now we're going to move to Calypso Teal and spray that on. And I just picked some colors that I thought um, reminded me of winter. So we're gonna use some crushed grape here. And then we're gonna move on to some after midnight, which is like a navy blue or dark blue. And I'm just going to remove it from my spray box here. I suppose you don't have to. Sorry about the bright light shining off my glass mat. It's just cause I had to move them so you could see in the box. So then I just dried the background and it doesn't have to be completely dry but you do want it fairly dry for this. I'm just going to wipe off my plastic um, mask there and then we're going to spray water in that clean circle area and as you spray the water the inks are going to move towards the center of that circle and give that kind of hazy moon look and then I just dried it with my heat tool. So then I decided I wanted to make another one because, you know, one might turn out better than the other. So I'm going to start off with some London blue, which is a light, like sailor blue kind of color. And then uh, Calypso teal. We're just going to spray that on there. And then I'm going to move to vibrant turquoise. And then the crushed grape. And then I'm going to finish it off with After Midnight. And I think I liked this one better, if I remember right. I think I have to look at them side by side to tell which one's which. So then I dried that, removed the mask, and then we're going to spray that clean water right in the center of that moon. And those colors, again, are going to move to the center and give us that, that kind of mystic look. And I saw this technique first. I believe it was on Amy Raisavi's try. Rice Abbey, Rice, I think that's how you say her name. Anyway, Prairie Paper and Inks channel. And I believe she got it from somebody else. I can't remember who. And she was doing it for Halloween backgrounds. But I thought it'd be cool in kind of winter colors with these fairy stamps. So I'm just going to sprinkle some clean water on here and kind of give that distressed look, you know. And then I'll take it up with my tea towels. We're just going to let it sit there for a second and then put my tea towel on top and, and soak up that water. And then I'm going to use my DIY um, shimmer spray, which is just perfect pearls and water. And we're just going to spritz those backgrounds all over. And this is really hard to see on camera, but it's really pretty in real life. So I'm going to bring out the Christmas Eve stamp from Lavinia Stamps, which is a Christmas tree with the fairies decorating it. I thought it would look really pretty like they're decorating it in a forest or something out in the middle of the night. And we're just going to uh, use my anti-static powder tool from EK Success and really do up that background real good because, you know, Dilutions inks can take a little while to dry. And even though I heat set this with my um, heat tool, I just want to make sure that it's the, the powder is not going to stick all over my background. So I am inking this up with VersaFine in Onyx. Reverse Fine Claire in Onyx Black, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's Nocturne, not Onyx. I don't know where I came up with that one. All right, we're just going to stamp that um, real good, and then I'm going to cover it with the Ranger Holographic Embossing Powder, because I think that everything should sparkle during Christmas time, which I believe I've said in my videos a couple times now. This is my favorite embossing powder to use during Christmas time. Look how pretty that is. It looks even prettier when it's heat set. So I am only going to show you these steps for one card because I did the cards exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to stamp this uh, Christmas night stamp out, which is Santa and his reindeer. And then I cut it out with my scanning cut. And 
And then I'm going to ink blend faded jeans on the background here. Um, now in my last video that I did this, when I bent the stamp and um, ink blended on the background, I embossed first and, uh, and then ink blended the background because I didn't like the white in the back. It was too stark. Um, I got a perfect <laughs> embossing on that one. Um, this one, this is the second time I'm doing this. I embossed first and then I ink blended on the background and I did not line up my stamp perfectly um, when I embossed and I ended up with a white halo. So this is the second time that I was doing that and I decided to be smart and <laughs> ink blend on the background first and then emboss. That way I wouldn't get that white halo if I did not line up my stamp perfectly. So now I'm going to stamp my stamp in Versamark so I can... Uh, heat emboss the holographic embossing powder over the top. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to pull that out and we're going to emboss the holographic embossing powder right over the top of that as well. I'm just going to get my tweezers out so I don't stick my fingers in that embossing powder and knock it off. And we're going to heat set that off screen. So I took out a Marvy um, snow marker La in the last card that I did a similar type scene. I used some glitter paper on the bottom, but this had such a little space that I decided to do the Marvy snow marker. Now the thing is, is these dilution sprays are very water reactive. So the Marvy snow marker started to react with the ink. Usually you let the Marvy snow marker um, dry first before you heat set. This one, it started turning my snow different colors. So I quickly heat set first um, before letting it dry and because my snow as you can see here is starting to turn colors I decided to heat set it and then I went in with the Marby snow marker again as you can see me doing here and just went right over that snow and this is going to turn it white again <laughs> because now I've got a base layer of the snow so you can go right over the top of the Marby snow marker and add additional layers um, and that's fine so that is what I'm doing here and obviously it's also fine to heat set without drying. Um, I did find that my snow was a little more squishy when I did that, um, but it, it was fine. I just, uh, it might be a little flatter when it gets to your recipient in the mail. <laughs> we'll see how these ones do. <laughs> so I did mat this on some Craft Perfect pearlescent cardstock in black onyx, just to give it a nice border. The pearlescent cardstock is kind of sparkly and kind of matches the holographic embossing powder that I used and then I will mat, mount this on my uh, 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. To finish it up I will be putting Santa and his reindeer on the card popped up on some foam squares and then that will finish off the card for today. I hope that you enjoyed the project. Don't forget that the links to all the products that are in the Lavinia world store will be in my description box below along with the links to the anything Lavinia world Facebook group and if you're watching this on my channel the link to the <laughs> Lavinia world YouTube uh, channel will be in the description box below if you're watching this on the Lavinia world YouTube channel the links to my social media and uh, YouTube channel will be in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed the project for today and as always have a great day.